We need to talk about OnlyFans. thinking of starting one if you know someone who is thinking of starting one then i am making this video for you um if you're new here if you don't know me the reason i care so much about this is i have worked in the commercial sex industry i understand its realities and have spent a lot of years walking with other women who are recovering from their time in the sex industry and so I just really want to share some insights and help you make an informed decision. And you can think of me as a big sister who really, 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 really cares and just wants to share this information with you. So we're gonna talk about the top 10 reasons not to start an OnlyFans. Reason number one, leaked content and piracy. This is a reality of having an OnlyFans page. There is nothing that is preventing people from screen recording, screenshots. There's technology out there that helps people pull content. Um, and there are actually rings of people that are subscribers on OnlyFans that are sharing content, buying and selling content to each other, and also posting it on other porn sites. So this is a reality of OnlyFans. So you are very much at risk of having your content leaked, shared, pirated. Number two, you will always be asked to do more and you probably will do more. You probably will end up doing more. This is actually just a reality of the commercial sex industry in general. You might get on there and be like, you know what? I'm only gonna do bikini. I'm only gonna do lingerie. I'm not doing anything more. But the sad reality is that there is a dark, black hole of demand that is constantly pressuring, pressuring, pressuring to do more, to do more. And it's an easy trap to fall into, right? Because you might get a subscriber, you might get someone who's paying you at first, but once they feel like, oh, I've already seen everything, then they're going to be pressuring you to do more. And it's going to be a very difficult thing to keep your boundaries and not push past that. And what happens for so many of us is that the money and the pressure gets to us, not all of a sudden, but sometimes just gradually over time. And one day you will wake up and realize that you did more than you ever thought you were, that you would, and you've gone farther than you ever thought you would. The money is not as good as you think it is. And you know what, for some people, maybe high profile people, yes, there is a lot of money out there, but it is hard to make that money and it's not the norm. And just like we talked about a second ago, you're gonna be pressured to do more and more. And we've seen this exact thing happen in amateur porn in general. So what happens is there is a novelty, novelty to being someone new, right? So you might get on there and you're new and you're novel and you might get that immediate kind of boost or response, but you're gonna have to hustle to keep making that same money. And again, you're gonna have to do more than you thought you would. And the other thing that's happening is OnlyFans is blowing up, right? So there is going to be a saturation of content creators, meaning over time, it's just gonna get harder and harder. It's the same thing we've seen happen, not only in amateur porn, but in the mainstream porn industry, that people had to keep up in their game, doing more and more, more hardcore content in order to make less money than they were making before. This is a reality of the industry. There is a cost to becoming a sexual object. There is a huge cost to this. Um, once you establish yourself as a sexual object, you will be treated that way. And I can tell you personally that it's it can have a really damaging effect, especially over time as it goes on and on. And you know, essentially you're no longer a person. You are a product and you're treated like not like less than human. And I'm trying to tell you that I have never heard anything more vile and crude and awful and abusive than the comments from people who believe that you exist to satisfy them sexually, that you exist for their own personal sexual gratification. They have a sense of entitlement, a sense of ownership that makes them think they can comment on every single inch of you and say whatever they wanna do to you. Ultimately, it's an experience of being dehumanized. And when you think about it, some of the most 
horrible, atrocious things that have ever happened in human history have happened because we dehumanized another person or people group. So there is a cost to being a sexual object. Sexual harassment is a job requirement, right? In most companies that you work for, if you get sexually harassed, you can be like, hey, no, and you know, get some justice, some legal action. On OnlyFans, sexual harassment is a job requirement. You can't just get on there and like post some photos or videos and just think that's it, just collect your money, right? Like you are expected to constantly interact with subscribers. And like we just talked about, I have never heard more vile and crude and awful things than the things that come out of the mouths of people who think that they have a right to you and that you exist to sexually gratify them. Having to be in the messages and interacting with people and hearing what they have to say, right? Like it's not just harassment. It's not just sexual harassment. It's sexual abuse. And it is very, very difficult to process that and to not let that really affect you. The truth is, is like, I can't think of many things more important than who you surround yourself with. So you got to ask yourself, like, is this who I really want to be surrounding myself with? Is this the kind of type, type of person, type of, you know, um, stuff that I want to have in my ear all day long, every day, day after day? Is this the kind of um, person I want in my life? is the subscribers on OnlyFans. And um, I would like to suggest that it probably isn't. Stalkers, there are people out there who will try to research your private personal information with the sole intention of putting it on blast and just broadcasting it to everywhere, everyone. So you'll hear time and time again, stories of women who are on OnlyFans and have had someone do this and pull up their information and put it on blast and then get messages, threatening messages, um, get stalkers, get, you know, in fear for their safety. And this is a reality of a lot of the different areas of the commercial sex industry. And it's certainly a reality of OnlyFans. It can interfere with your goals for your future. There are certain careers that you will be disqualified from if you choose to do OnlyFans. Like if you want to work with children one day or work for a government agency or a company that does background checks, this can come back and bite you and really interfere with your goals and your future. Um, not to mention, you know, a lot of, it's only a matter of time before someone in your world, a coworker at your day job, a friend, family member, you know, ends up seeing something that you don't want them to see and that bleeding into other areas of your life. It will change you. It will change you. Trust me, it will change you. One night working in the strip club, one night changed the way I saw the whole world around me changed the way I saw myself. And that, that damage and that, that impact only grew over time. So every night I went back, it changed me. Every night I went back, I gave a piece of myself away until there was nothing left to give. It will change you in ways that you, um, you don't even expect. It's, it's hard because essentially you're not a real person anymore. Like when I was in the clubs, I wasn't Harmony. I was Monique. That was my stage name. And, you know, I, um, I, was a, I wasn't a real person anymore. I was a compilation of other people's fantasies. And that's what this industry does to you. And that's what will happen on OnlyFans is that um, over time, what happens is many of us find ourselves becoming more and more disconnected to our true authentic self and like who we are as a person because our existence is about being someone else's fantasy and who we are doesn't even matter anymore in that equation. So it, it will have an effect, it will change you. Not to mention, one more thing on this, one of the biggest impacts that it has is on our capacity for intimacy and healthy relationships. I mean, talk, everyone I know that has been in the industry has baggage to unpack after they leave. It's very difficult to open up and be vulnerable and trust that people would love and value you and want to be with you for something other than who you are sexually. You can't take it back. Once it's out there, even if you take your account down as fast as you put it up, like we talked about in number one, 
those videos, those photos are out there. You can't take it back. You don't know where they are. And this is something that is very difficult and can really be haunting for many women who have um, had that experience of putting photos and videos of, of themselves online like that. Number 10, even if the money is good, the price is high. This is an industry that chews you up, sucks you dry, and spits you right back out. And all you are left with is the trauma to unpack. I am, I, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, and I hope you hear me. I'm trying to tell you like the money is not worth it. The price is too high. And the bottom line is this, you are worth more. You are worth more than the degradation, sexualization, and objectification that the sex industry, that OnlyFans has to offer you. I truly believe that you are put here on this planet for a purpose, that you are valuable, that you have worth. And this, this isn't it. This isn't it. If you want to talk more, if you've been kind of thinking about doing OnlyFans or um, anything like that, feel free to DM me at Harmony Grillo on Instagram at treasures.la is the organization that I run to help women who are recovering from the sex industry. And if you have been in the commercial sex industry and you need some support or encouragement, no strings, no judgment, um, just we're here for you. So you can reach out to us on our website, iamatreasure.com. We have a section there where you can sign up um, industry girls only and you can sign up for a care package from us. We would love to be able to encourage you. And finally, please share this video. If you know someone who is thinking of joining OnlyFans or signing up, like please share this video. Please get the word out there because there are so many people that are gonna get sucked into this without understanding and really realizing what the consequences could be. So thank you for hearing me out and have a great day. Take care, be safe.